Hi everyone welcome to few minutes of knowledge from clinical cardiology by Dr. Game. In this video we will be discussing the normal pediatric ECG findings in children from birth onwards which might create confusion of being abnormal, but are in reality otherwise normal. The following ECG findings may be normal in children. 1. Rate, heart rate of 100 beats per minute or above. Heart rates are highest in neonates and infants and decrease with age. Newborn, 110 to 150. 2 years, 85 to 125 4 years, 75 to 115. Greater than 6 years, 60 to 100. 2. QRS axis. Right ventricular strain pattern, which comes with following findings. T-wave inversions in lead V1 to V3, aka, juvenile T-wave pattern. Right axis deviation. Dominant R wave in lead V1. RSR pattern in lead V1. The physiological explanation behind this is that, at birth the right ventricle is larger and thicker than the left ventricle. 3. Marked sinus arrhythmia. Sinus rhythm with a beat-to-beat -beat variation in the PP interval, the time between successive P waves, producing an irregular ventricular rate. 4. ECG intervals. PR interval and QRS duration are shorter at birth due to smaller cardiac size. So producing a short PR interval, less than 120 milliseconds, and QRS duration, less than 80 milliseconds. If age of infant is 6 months or younger, then slightly peaked P waves, if P waves are less than 3 millimeters in height, they are considered normal. Slightly prolonged corrected QT interval less than or equal to 490 milliseconds in infants age of 6 months or younger is also considered normal. And Q waves in the inferior leads, and left precordial leads is also considered normal. The ECG shift. The right ventricular dominance is gradually replaced by left ventricular dominance, so that by 3 to 4 years of age, the pediatric ECG starts resembling adult ECG. Hope you find this video useful please like share subscribe and follow us. Your support is much appreciated for further videos like this. Don't forget to share your thoughts and comments. Bye.